Hey guys, it's Molly with Design Loves Detail and today we are going to check out some designer look dupes that I think you're going to love. Those of you who follow me over on my Instagram at Design Loves Detail know that I love a good look for less product and I share tons of them. You can check them out in my splurge or save um, highlight reels. There's tons. I think I have two or three different ones that are called splurge or save um, or looks for less. Check those out. And also be sure to subscribe and hit the bell here on YouTube so you get notified of future videos. We've also got our email list over on our website at uh, designlovesdetail.com where you can get more insider info. Also like my video, please. Ben told me I need to ask that. <laughs> you can leave me a comment if there's something that you're looking for that's like a designer look or it's just expensive and you're hoping that there might be something similar for less. You can drop that in comments and I will, I'll take a look at those and then if I find some we can do it, uh, share those in a future video of designer dupes. I think that's one of my favorite things to do. It's just fun. I love it when you can find something that totally looks high end but you didn't have to pay a lot. That's just obviously what I'm always pitching to you guys. These kind of products are the best. Be sure to stay till the end too because I have an anthropology look like that is so good. Uh, we've got six different ones for today that are designer looks. The first one is from McGee & Co. I love McGee & Co. They have amazing products and if you can afford them, that is awesome. A lot of times they are really spendy for those of us who need a dupe. Um, this is the Beckett chair. I love it. This is one that they used in their home and it has a beautiful detail on the back um, with that cane. The lookalike is a little bit different back, but the overall feel, I love these kinds of wood frame chairs with the neutral upholstery, just that blend of a natural wood with a kind of a linen tone upholstery is just so timeless in my opinion. So this Beckett chair is $14.50. That definitely adds up, especially if you need multiple. So Target um, has a really similar one. It doesn't have a cane back, but it has a really similar feel with the wood frame and then the neutral um, fabric upholstery. And this one is from the Hearth and Hand collection, you know, Joanna Gaines with Magnolia. And it is $249, so you know, a little better than the $14.50 if you need a look-alike for a chair, like the Beckett chair. I love it. I think that it looks like a good one. I actually, I'm pretty sure that I ordered these ones for the flip house. I have a lot of stuff in boxes and I can't exactly remember what I ordered. So I think I might have these and I'm hoping I can show you in person um, if I do. Next one is a chandelier that I have loved. Um, they have it in a few different kind of like configurations. This one is a little bit more wide and it is similar to the one that I used in my dining room in our last home. So the Fontaine offset chandelier is the one from McGee & Co. And in the aged iron, it kind of has that matte black look with the white shades and it's so pretty and just, I feel like it's one of those that goes with a lot of different styles. Um, it also comes in a um, satin or a, so kind of a gold tone. This one is 1700 in any color you get. Um, it also comes in the white, I love the white. but. That being said, $1,700 is kind of is kind of spendy for a chandelier. And light fixtures are ones that often have dupes. So this one over on Wayfair, this is actually the exact collection that I ended up using. So I had loved that designer one and then I needed to find the dupe. And so I used the dupe in my dining room, like I mentioned, and it is so good. It, um, it looks like a matte black. The color is actually bronze, but it reads, I feel like it reads as a black. It didn't look brown to me but I used a bunch of matte black lights and it worked well with them, just so you'll know with that. It also comes in white, but the white's sold out. Anyway, this one is 609. It's a really good size and it definitely has that, that same kind of look. It is 43 inches wide. I mean, that's a pretty good size chandelier for the $600 um, and definitely way better than the 1700. And I have seen it in person just in a different, I had the taller one. I'll show you um, the taller version of it from the same brand. I loved it. I was super happy with it. It worked great. The shades, are white tone. For some reason, some of the images online of this one on Wayfair actually is accurate, but they're more white than they are creamy. They kind of start to look a little bit yellowish in some of the images, but in real life, they're like a white. All the links for these products, by the way, both the designer one and the dupe are linked in the description. So you guys can grab them there. Uh, this chair, I have had really similar chairs to this from uh, Forehands. If you guys are familiar with the brand Forehands, they have really, really pretty furniture and it was 
Um, one of the most commonly used, I feel like in, like when you're scrolling through social media, so many four hands pieces are just kind of like the showstoppers. They're a great company that I always am checking out at market um, in terms of like the products they offer and the price point's a little bit spendy, but they are a really good brand. Uh, they have this chair that is so cute and this is actually an outdoor one, which is cool. It, it has sort of an indoor look. It could probably be used either way, but it has that ability to use outdoors, which is cool. I had the they also make a an interior version that comes in like a gray uh, you guys might remember it. I've used it in a few projects but um, I haven't seen that one online lately so I saw this one and then thought oh my gosh that reminds me so much of this target one the Higgins sling armchair this is an this is not an outdoor one this is an interior one but it has so much that look in that natural finish and they also just recently I can't remember exactly one but fairly recently added it in the gray fabric as well so if you want something a little bit darker that one's really good and you can see by the reviews this has 51 reviews and it's virtually five stars so this chair is $270 totally has that designer look the bang for your buck is excellent with this one so I thought I would point that out as well and a lot of times too you guys will see like if you go to parade homes um, or model homes a lot of times they have like the designer prod products in there almost always I can find a, a look for less version so when I share the parade homes I try to also include those so that you guys can kind of see like here's this one and here's a similar option this less this West Elm dress was one I saw in a parade home and it's really pretty really simple in the white color kind of minimalist a little bit of that mid-century modern feel but goes with a lot of different styles because it's just clean lines so that one's twelve hundred dollars and they have an almost identical one with 4.7 stars reviews on Wayfair and so this is just a really good dupe really similar setup that has the the different drawers and different hardware so that has it has a high-end look for sure and it does come in other colors like the gray and then some wood tones as well so that's a pretty good savings from that 1200 down to the 750 the next one is a pottery barn chair you guys probably have seen some of the and I and uh, McGee and Co has one too that's really pretty a woven leather counter stool with a back I love them because they add texture and interest with the the leather material well pottery barn has the Fenton leather barn counter stool they come in a bunch of different leathers. You can even choose the wood, which is nice. They are spendy though. So kind of depending on if you're doing a bar stool or a counter stool between $5.49 and $6.19, which is so expensive, I think, for counter stools because you have to get uh, usually, you know, three or four of them. It's pretty common. So it adds up. Target has this one that's one of my favorites that they have in stock right now in the brown and natural. So it's the brown leather with the natural wood and it looks so similar and it's $150, much less. And it has that same kind of designer look that adds the the texture and detail of the leather I think these ones are a faux leather but I feel like they seem to look good yeah they're about four stars so you can see though pictures in reviews some people saying that they're awesome easy to put together and all that so they're definitely some really good reviews in there I think from the pictures they look fantastic this last one is the ever popular anthropology find I love anthropology again but it's just expensive sometimes their shipping for for home orders is spendy too they have a flat rate so like if you're ever buying from anthropology try and buy all at once because they have I think it's 149 yeah 149 for the unlimited furniture delivery and so if you're buying like one thing that's just a, a huge added expense but they have this fern storage cabinet that has the arch detail which of course I love I fell in love with this first time I saw it and so I was so so excited to find a look for less of it the one with the black and the natural wood also has a look-alike over at Urban Outfitters, <laughs> so cute, in the black with the natural as well. And it seriously looks almost identical. I feel like the cutest detail there and they have it in a natural, I like the natural finish as well if you want something that's just more wood tone. And this is $9.99, definitely better than that. <laughs> The anthropology one is twenty, almost $2,500. A huge savings there and for a very similar look. And it has it has pretty good reviews as well. The one thing with Urban Outfitters is they do also have that kind of the unlimited furniture delivery flat fee. So again, you know, buy multiple things. If you guys click on the review pics, there's a really cute, uh, you can see the natural wood one. It looks really cute. I think this is one of the best dupes out there and it's actually in stock I've seen this one sell out before so again just if you're buying from Urban Outfitters I try to get all the furniture things I might 
need in one shopping trip because of that flat fee. It's $99.95 for their unlimited furniture delivery. Another reminder, check out that description for all the products that I've shared today for these looks for less and feel free to leave in the comment section. Again, whatever you might be shopping for, that you're hoping to find a look for less for. And if I can find one, I will share it. We will see you guys next time. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when our next video is live.